Hi guys, this is TD Bandit again. Uh, this video is actually for get back on the Cox engine farm. He's been asking me for a while on how to do lead out, so that's what I'm going to try to do. First of all, uh, I, I must apologize for the noise in here. It's raining pretty hard here in Georgia, and I'm in my shop, which is a little shed in here with a tin roof, so that's what that popping sound is. Anyway, I want to do my best to show them how to do it for anyone who wants to know. So this is, again, string and lead out, so without further ado, let's get started. First of all, when you do lead out, you know, this is just, just crimping type. You know, do crimp. I'm going to be doing the crimp type lead out, not a wrap lead out. I don't quite know how to do that yet. Anyway, when you do crimp lead outs, it, it's essentially just doing loops, you know, making loops to it. And you, you pass it through the bell crank and then through a sand bowl and you do twice and you just you crimp them together. So. First, you got to have the bell crank right here. This is this bell crank for my jumping beam that I'm building, my Brodex jumping beam. You got to have your course. You lead out. I know you can't see it very well. There you go. And the thimble, which is this little guy. This is a half a lead out, so it's kind of small. So I'm gonna do my best. First of all, what you want to do is you're going to take your little thimble, your little crimp, your little crimp thing, and slip it over the lead out. You know, like so. Then take the lead out and, and your bell crank. Pass it through uh, the end of the bell crank. Kind of make a little loop. Okay. What you're aiming for here is to pass the end of the lead out to the thimble. And you got to do this twice, by the way. You just pass it through the end. And when you're doing bell cranks, you got to make sure you leave enough of a loop so the bell crank can operate smoothly. You don't have to be a huge loop, mind you. Just like, you know, something like that. You know, something, well, something like that. I usually have a little jig to do this on, but I can't find it, so I'm having to do this with my hand, so this, this can be kind of tedious. <laughs> Once you got it, you know, satisfied, take the end of your lead out wire, loop it around. Again, sorry, you know, this comment, this is tedious. I usually have, again, I usually have a uh, jig. But you want to pass the other end, the free end of the lead out through the thimble again. Watch your fingers, these things are tight, these things are sharp. <laughs> I know how many times that I've stuck my fingers with this thing. You can pull it through, like so, okay? What you're looking for is a little loop. Again, check to make sure your end is tight. Okay, make, don't, don't close it, collapse it down. Don't close it or clasp it down, okay? But make sure it's tight. You gotta pull it in. And again, here's your little loop. And take it and pull the loop as tight as you can. Right. 
Once you're satisfied with your with your loop and your little end right here, I don't know if you can see it very well, but you want to you want to crimp this thing. All right. I'm going to use a pair of small nose needle nose, you know, little electronic needle nose pliers. And what you want to do is take it, and while holding it, if you have a dig, it's a lot easier to do this. But what you want to do is take the end. Squeeze it down good. It has to be squeezed down good. All right. Once you get one end done, you want to do the other end. And for good measure, it's a good idea to crimp it the other way. Make sure you got a good crimp. Okay. I don't I usually have a better pair of crimpers, but they won't go down to this level on these on these little thimbles, so make sure they're all nice and snug. Give it a good tug. Okay, and check your handiwork. Next, what you want to do, this is very important by the way, you can take some medium CA or a dot of five minute epoxy, whatever. But you want to take this and put a drop on the end, on each end of the thimble. What this does is it, le it, it leaks into the, uh, and it bonds the uh, strands together. Okay, it'll soak down in there. Kind of work it around. Make sure it's in there. Okay, this is very important, guys. Don't forget to do this because what this does is it gives it an extra measure of. Uh, Of security, you know, if, you know, to make sure the lead, you know, the lead out doesn't pull out. You know, everyone knows what happens when the lead out fails in the control line plane. It, it, it does a figure nine one way or another, and it hit, usually hits the ground. So, don't forget this little trick. So make sure you do it. You might have to use a little bit more. Alright, also helps if you use kicker. But don't get it on the end of the bell crank, okay? But that's pretty much it. I mean, it's real easy. What I usually do afterwards is I take a piece of uh, heat shrink and I put over the end of it. You can push down the coil. Also, another thing, uh, of course, I gotta find it, but don't forget to trim it off. Where is my cutter? Right there. You gotta make sure you trim it off. Don't trim it all the way to the thimble, but just trim it off just to the end, right here. You should have a little, should have a little dab or a little tang lift. It should not be flat with the uh, with the thimble. You want a little bit out.
I'll go on next I'll go on and show you this other little trick that I do uh you know do the heat shrink method just go in there what the heat shrink does is it makes sure it gives it a nice smooth area if I got any that's if I've got some Well, guess maybe I don't. It's, uh, it's probably in the house somewhere. But anyway, what I usually do is I just I just slip some heat shrink over there and I shrink it down over that, and it, it not only makes it look neat, but it helps. It gives it a point where it prevents this bar from catching on thing. I mean, like it, like it will in the bean, but there's a chance it can do. But the heat shrink kind of helps prevent that. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this man. I hope this was informative and and I hope this I hope this helps you build many models. So uh dang it. I was gonna say well I I guess it wasn't important. But anyway, this is T D Bandit and y'all take it easy and, and good night, get back, rusty. Uh, cribs, what, what not. Y'all yeah, take it easy. Alright, bye.